And we're happy to have Mike Woodson join us now from Bloomington. Mike, you, you've spent your whole coaching career in the NBA. Why turn to the college game now? Well, for me, it's it's like a complete circle. The, the circle back and be able to coach a college team that you played for. And I mean, not just any college team, any university basketball, it's huge. It's, and it's always been that way. And I've always looked at it in that light. Um, you know, I've done something that a lot of players and coaches dream of doing, and that's, you know, being able to go to a great university and play basketball, play 11 years in the pros, and coach 20-plus years in the NBA, and then be able to circle back and, and coach your your college basketball team, man, it's it's just like a dream come true. And uh, I, like I had mentioned earlier in the press conference, I I pursued this job one other time, but the other times I was just I was tied up. I couldn't get out of my my contracts, and um, so I have the Knicks to thank this go around for letting me out of my contract and fulfilling my dream. And you were a truly great player back in the day. But there have been great players who've tried to be college basketball head coaches and it didn't work out well. Why will your situation be different? Why will your situation be different? I don't know. I, you know, I don't look at it in that light. You know, um, you know the one thing that I, I think I have going for me is that the college game is emulating the NBA game now. So I think the transition for me will be a lot easier. Um, and again, coaching is coaching to me. You know, I don't, I can't name a whole lot of pro coaches that have gone to college. I, I know some of them, and some have had success. Um, I think it's tougher for college coaches to come to my league and, and be successful. So you can look at it in that light as well. But, look, this is a great opportunity. Uh, I feel good about what I do as a coach. Um, I just got to go out and recruit the best student athletes that I think uh, that can come in and, and, and change our program. I mean – uh, that's what it's going to take. I mean, you, you recruit these young players, but then you got to develop them, and and you know that's the big part of it. You know, you develop them into players that, to play the system that you want to help you win basketball games. What will be the biggest challenge in getting this program back to where you want it to be? Well, the biggest challenge is is the recruiting part of it in terms of being able to bring the the top talent into your system. Um, and, you know, Indiana is no stranger, you know, to, to talent. I mean, you think of back, you know, over the history of this program, you've had a lot of great players that have come through this program. And I don't want that to stop. Uh, so it's going to be my job along with my coaching staff and uh, to go out and recruit the best student athletes that we feel fits our system and that can help us win games. I mean, it all goes hand in hand. You know, a lot of these young players are, you know, all they're interested in is playing NBA basketball. I think I can help them get there, but, you know, they got to do their part uh, and then I'll do my part. But my part comes first. You were bringing in Thad Mata to help you. In the press conference, you talked about you wanted collaboration. You like having resources around you. Specifically, what will Thad Mata's duties be? Well, again, uh, you know, he'll work closely with uh, Scott, our AD. Um, and then he will work closely with, with me in terms of, you know, basketball th things that may occur on the court and off the court. Uh, you know, th Thad has, has had a hell of a career in, in coaching. He's been very successful as a head coach. I mean, you look at his teams in, at Ohio State and the things that he's done there. You know, for me, you know, I have no ego, man. I'm always searching for basketball knowledge, and I'm going to put people around me 
that have basketball knowledge that I think I can lean on and and talk to when when times are tough and when times are good. I mean, you need knowledgeable people, loyal people that you can trust that knows basketball and know what they're talking about. Mike, how different is recruiting now versus when you were a player? I got to imagine it's probably the same. You know, I, I can't think, you know, I mean, I know the AAU programs, they control a lot uh, around the country in terms of players and and you going out to recruit. So I got to get to know some of the AAU programs around the country. Uh, but I like to think the state of Indiana is unique because I still think the high school coaches are in control. So, you know, I'm going to lean on a bunch of high school coaches. I'm going to invite them to Bloomington. I'm going to have high school coaching clinics for men and women uh, basketball and, and, and invite them in to, uh, and just, you know, talk basketball because I think – the kids that are here in the state of Indiana are kids that, you know, we got to always keep our eyes on. Hell, I, I came out of Indianapolis, and I turned out just fine. Randy Whitman came out of Indianapolis. I mean, it's just so much talent in the state that we can't let those players get away. And it's going to be my job to keep my eyes on players, uh, work with the high school coaches and the AAU programs to, to – uh, can continue to watch players grow, and hopefully they're good enough to come here and play for Indiana University. Bob Knight was, of course, your coach when you were a Hoosier. How are you similar to him, and how are you different from him? Well, the one similarity is this. He was very organized. He was disciplined. He helped, held players accountable. And I will never stray away from that again. You know, I, I turned out fine. I think these young players need discipline. They need to be held accountable on and off the floor. And that's healthy. It ain't, it, it's not like you trying to hurt the player. You know, you trying to enhance his game and, and help him get to the next level. That's healthy, I think. Uh, the difference is, you know, I'm probably and not that coach was, and coach was, was was there when when we needed him. But I'm going to be more open and to my players. I'm, I I want to know what they're doing off the floor, uh, and coach was like that too. You know, don't get me wrong, but uh, I want it to be more of a family atmosphere, uh, where you know they they feel good about talking to me about personal things and things of that nature. Um, uh, there's, that's where I think the difference w will be. Not that we couldn't do that with Coach Knight, but I'm going to be more openly with that. What's your favorite Bob Knight story to tell from when you were a player? Well, I won't. I'll share this story with you. And this is how, how much respect and, and deeply love Coach Knight is to, to me and, 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 and how I feel about him. And Bob Hamill, I don't know if he's ever told this story, but I'm going to tell it. Bob Hamill went to coach and said, hey, we going up to Indi you want to go up to Indianapolis and see Mike play? This was when I was in the NBA. And coach was like, well, let me finish practice, and you pick me up, and we'll go up and see Mike. And as they going up 37, entering in, in, into Indianapolis, Bob Hamill turned to Coach Knight. He said, boy, it's going to be nice seeing Michael Jordan tonight. <laughs> and Coach said, Michael who? He said, Michael Jordan. He says, Bob, there's only one Michael in this program, and that's Mike Woodson. <laughs> he thought he was going to see Mike Woodson. <laughs> he says, Bob, don't ever do that again to me. But he went and enjoyed Michael Jordan because he's the greatest that's ever played. <laughs> that's a great Bob Knight story. <laughs> Mike, before I let you go, great story. Have you allowed yourself to grasp what it's going to feel like to be walking the sidelines of Assembly Hall as the head coach? No, that's a great question. No, not really. I mean, it, it hadn't really hit me. Um, you know, I I jumped on a plane. Scott put so much pressure on me yesterday to get on a plane to get here. 
yesterday evening. I mean, I <laughs> got the call that morning, and he he said, I need you on the plane. I'm scrambling to get permission for my ownership to let me out. And it was just touch and go and caught the plane at the last minute, and here I am. So uh met with the team last night, uh, had about eight, nine players with me in the locker room and did a Zoom call with the rest. And so I'm going to meet with each guy individually today, and I'm looking forward to that. That would be a wonderful treat for me. So, um, no, I haven't really grasped a hold of it, but eventually it hit me. Mike Woodson, the new head coach at Indiana. Congratulations on the news. Look forward to working with you over the years. Hey, thank you very much. Look forward to working with you as well. Thank you.